Welcome back guys to Akami with just one last Tomy Canine Warrior left to find way way off. It seems that the next one is way out. If I'm right in saying it, Nagata Forest. So we need to get over there ASAP and a mermaid's coin would not exactly be such a bad thing for that. So let's see what we can purchase now at the store. Hope it's one of the options for us. A little bit of gold dust wouldn't do us too bad either, but maybe we should check the roads leading there. Because of course, Kushi and her sake, her eight purification sake that Mr. Orange really, really wants. So we said to do shopping. Yes, I have. I want to do some shopping indeed. There's a mermaid coins that really do not cost all that much. Well, let's buy it. Well, actually five would probably be there right now. Let's uh, re-jig all my lovely bags of stuff. Seeds are ones I seem to be using the most after all. Generally keeping around seven, no gold dust from here, however. I would love some more, that's for sure, but still, no go. So maybe we should check the road along the way. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. I wonder if there's any spouts to check as well. And the reason I say check the road along the way as well... Is because if you remember... We definitely, as nothing seems to be spouting out of the water. Maybe is another dojo ability to learn. It seems you're really going off on one there. I can keep you up, no problem. Phew, I'm firing all cylinders again today. So what do you want? What's with that twinkle in your eye, Pooch? You want to race? Oh, we can race? Okay, Lightning Idol will give you a run for your money. What? What's going on here? Where's the track exactly? Sure, we'll go. Are you on me? Oh no, you're running away from me though. I'll take it as across the bridge. Excuse me, I'm out of here. Why am I trying to tackle him when I could just leg it? Uh, is it to the right? Are we heading along this path? The more I'm going, the complete and that's out of wrong way. Well, I've completely lost him now. If he is around. And with the weird toying noise that started there, I think I've completely lost him and possibly started off heading the wrong way. Was I supposed to keep up with him? Well, all the same, mind you. We found ourselves a Shrine of Eel. I thought we would have cleared up everything around this section, but obviously not. All the meantime, though, I'll have the three Demon Fangs. Seems more of them keep appearing. Two demon fangs for the price of one, I'll take that. Incredibly lucrative evil shrine. Fair bit of yen as well. Well, I may have messed up the race a little bit. Something else appeared from my troubles. Something else really did. No clue what just took place here, but it seems good. Right, examine. Nameless man's kiln. It's a big old kiln for firing pottery. Guess somebody works here. I bet they could make some sweet pottery in a kiln like this. I bet they could, but really, what am I doing here? I've kind of made the area all brilliant again. When something else was going on, I don't know if I'd get anything for winning this race versus Mr. Postman, but to be honest, winning against Postmans is usually an impossible task anyway, if you know what I mean. Nameless man's kiln still. It's a big old kiln for pottery. Yeah, sure, but they've got two of them. Okay. Well, if there's anyone to ask about this, I'd imagine it's you. Oh, he seems a bit fearful of me right now. You are the nameless man himself. I keep getting a faint whiff of blossoms from the cave recently. A feeling of peace is like washing over my soul here, man. I'm sure. We've sorted out your kiln, though. I hope you enjoy. Don't know if you need it or not, but that's beside the point. Massive growth of new land. Less cursed stuff around. Five more demon fangs, was it? 
can't complain, I can't complain. Right then, with all that said and done, let's head towards the dojo. We've completely engaged in complete side activities of going around everywhere but where we need to. But it worked out pretty well. Worked out pretty well indeed. Can't believe I'd missed that up until this point. So, dojo owner, do you have any new abilities for me? That is the real question that I have. We can transport using a mermaid's tear as well, so that's not bad. I wonder if we can bring water to put out fires, though. That's a question. So, you've come again, my little lupine friend. Have you come to sharpen your skills? Yes, I have. We can learn the spirit storm technique. Not that we are using a rosary currently. So you once again choose to try your hand at the fighting arts. I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. And I must warn you, I won't hold back this time. Ah, ooh. And the transformation can commence. Wah! Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside to test your might. Sure thing, sir, sure thing. I might have to equip my rosary. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the Spirit Storm Rosary Technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Spirit Storm Rosary Technique tips. First, press the square button to begin the attack. Press the square button rapidly in succession. Time it well. Repeat until you connect six consecutive rosary hits. The more you press the square button, the more powerful the hits become. Attack quickly and with beauty. Attack fiercely and with fury. Give it all you've got, send the evil ones packing. Well, did you understand? It's no problem. We understood the explanation. But now we need to switch our stuff. Grant you this technique scroll as well. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. No problem. So it's basically an extra combo with our rosaries, if I'm right in saying. You bring us yet another target. We can't do anything according to the thing at the moment, because of course, we really haven't got the right thing in the right place. Give it a go. For a lot of damage, or a lot of combo. 45 hits, in fact. Taking it out, no problem at all. Hmm, not bad, keep it up. Well, to be honest, we don't really need to keep it up. We might get a reward like a holy bone or something, I don't know. But it's not something we really need to do. To be honest, I think we can just leave now. We've got our technique, we're out of here. Had enough, eh? Listen, Wolf, gaining experience in a single skill is admirable. But you must never lose the drive for self-improvement. Pray did you not forget that. No problem, Mr. Man. We've learned our new technique and we're out of here. Straight out, in fact. Right, let's change back around my weapons, because of course, the weapon I have been using seems to be incredibly powerful. And the ability to block as well is not a bad one if I can get the timing just right. So to be honest, I think the general setup is pretty good. I won't try to race the postman once again just yet. What I am interested in is getting into a gutter forest. Or more to the point, tracing the entire route, because you never know where Kushi might be. I can't say I'm not worried for her. Right then, let's get nice and up on high. And making that lily pad in the right place is a bit harder than you would think. Let's get going. Took us this long just to get to a Gata Forest in the end with all the sidetracking we got. Another evil shrine taken out. A kind of... What on earth is going on now? Huh? Isn't this that bear that was sleeping back in Hannah Valley? Man, he's still sleeping. Let's call him Sleepy. Sleepy the bear. Newly dubbed Sleepy. I already thought you'd call him Balancing Bear Sleepy. That's one happy bear. Seems he really likes spheres. I'm sure. What can I do with it? Well, I can't push it or anything. Maybe I need to bring him some or something? In fact, there is a sphere here. If it works along those lines. Alright, I can push it round. Should we try to 
push it up to the newly dubbed bear. Sleepy. Uh, getting it to go in the right direction isn't exactly the easiest thing either. Roll, oh no, don't, don't, don't roll down the. No! Yes, back, back in. And then up. No, 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 no. Harder than you would think getting up high. Well, we could go nice and slow. I guess that works as well. No! No, my sphere! I wonder if that is what we're supposed to do, because that is insane to be able to push it up there. I'm sure someone can tell me in the comments. We'll get round to that. Now, where's Cushy? Or more to the point, where exactly is the spring that we need to meet? What spring are we looking for? Mind you, the shop's right here. And isn't this the one where we could get our gold dust? Now I don't have to worry about running out of stock anymore. I've got plenty of things on sale today. Care to take a look? Yes, we will do some shopping, but do you have some gold dust? You do, the 5,000 yen kind. The I like it a lot kind. So, time to upgrade a weapon, I think. Man, have we got a lot of stuff here. So, I'd like to weapon a power up. Well, I think we'll go with our Infinity Judge. And it's now pulsing. I wonder exactly what kind of thing that might do. Like, added power in a different way. To Itoshio Hot Springs? Ah! So we found the way to Kushi, at least. We may not have found the way to our canine yet. To be honest, I'd imagine certain things are a little bit related. Certain problems might be related. Now, what's this over here? To Shinshu Field from up on high. No treasures, it seems, buried around, but you never know until it hits night. Hello! And it is our dear indeed. What is up, my dear? Hmm, the water here is so lovely and cool. Now time to get to work! Here's the barrel! Huh? Why looky here, it's Kushi! What you up to here, sweetie? Oh, it's you, Snowy and Issen. I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamiki Festival! I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods! People say that the water here at Hitoshio Spring has divine powers! We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival! That way we can make eight purification sake! Whoa, hold it right there, sister! Eight purification sake? You mean the sacred drink of ancient legend? That's right, it goes back to the legend of Nagi and Shimanui. It was the miraculous sake they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently they got the dr beast drunk and cut off its head, oh okay. It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. Oh, I don't know if the legend's really true or not. But we offer sake to the gods at festival time and pray for peace. Okay, sure, but it seems you've got trouble. By the way, sweetie, I was wondering, you plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right, we need enough for all of the villagers, so I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you going to fill such a big barrel with water? And even if you can, how are you going to carry it back to the village? Hmm? That's a good point. It is indeed. I hadn't thought of that because Susanu usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrels if it was as light as a feather, so he is pretty strong then. There's no way I can manage on my own though. You just can't cut for anything. How silly of me to not think this through. I wonder how I'm going to get the spring water into the barrel. I think I can do that bit, silly girl. I think that bit's not a problem for me. Apart from that though, considering it's now hit night, is there anything shining brightly? Apart from, of course, the obvious clover up top. Right, let's sort out this barrel in just a second. Until then, oh no, of course. Concrete floors, how I hate you. How I hate you, right. Time to get to work with this, mind you. There's not really any special water source at the moment. I don't know if we can use for well, the mermaid tier to get to it. But no, it does seem to work indeed. That's odd. How did the water get into the barrel all by itself? So you need to fill up even more than that. That's not a problem. How much do we have to fill it? Only three times the magic number. How wonderful! The barrel's full of spring water already! This will be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent! Now we just have to get it back to the village. Carry it home? But it must weigh a ton! 
Has Suzanu appeared? No! A monster! What is it? Do, do, do you want some of this spring water? S sorry! I'll be getting this barrel out of your way S soon! Oh, it really is sacred by the look of it. Brush yourself off, sir. Back, you beast! Susan, who's here? Here I am, just taking a walk. And look what I run into. Oh, it's you! Susan, who? There's even more now. Take one more step towards the lady, and it'll be your last. Okay, that's a bit too many now. The great Susan Ute descendant of the hero Nagi forbids it. Do not despair, my fair Kushi. Susan is here to save today. Uh oh. This looks bad! It does indeed! I, I swing my sword in the name of love! Susanu style sword of passion! <laughs> Here I go! You! Oh, cut it! Cut it! Cut it! No! That was one hell of a not cut! That went completely looped over! Hack! What happens? You! Try again, Susanu! <laughs> How did I miss that so badly? Leave! My Kushi alone. Huh? That was such a swing and a miss, the first one. Oh no! Susanu, watch out! No problemo, even to the right direction. He's a little beaten up for it, but he's done it. Hey, you did it, Pops. That was amazing. After my complete swoosh over the guy. You looked kind of scared at first, but you pulled it off for the lady. Haha, -ha, Ethan. Susanu, uh, thank you. I didn't expect to see such ferocious monsters here. Are you hurt? A little bit, by the look of it. Susanu, I knew it. I knew it all along. Strange things have been happening ever since then. First that boulder in Kamiki, then that battle with the bear, and now this. My sword is possessed by a strange power. You listen to me, O oh spirit who defiles my sword. I shall not be controlled like some puppet. By the gods, I shall expose your nefarious scheme. It's run off instantly. Covered in drool. Gross! Wolf spit! The magnificent Eason takes offense! Why I order? Huh? Where's Susanu? Where did he go running off to? He left without saying a word. What was he thinking? I mean, he just won the battle! Now it's time to win the damsel's heart! At least he could have stuck around to help carry the barrel. It's okay. I think he's busy with other things. There's no need to bother him with this. You sure? I'm sure he can manage on my own from here anyway. No, you can't, Kushi. That sounded like that Kakari kid. Is he in trouble again? We better go check it out, Ami. My goodness, everything keeps happening now. The dog tracker's appeared as well. Whoa, the canine tracker, of course the dog tracker appears. Suddenly appeared. So that means we found our next lead. Kushi, you stay here, okay? Oh, it's so heavy. You couldn't give me a hand, could you, Snowy? Like, well, could wake up, sister. Does it look like my furry friend could carry that? This area should be free of evil power and the water is sacred properties, so you definitely won't be attacked on the way back. But it's getting, like, 
a single move on at the moment, though there seems to be a path through this cave as well, even though the tracker's going the other way. So what do you say, you and I? We'll check it out just quickly, see what's inside. Filed ground? We can sort that out, that's for sure. Find ourselves a bud. Well, what's in this one? It appeared almost special with the amount of time it lingered over it. You obtained incense burner. Burner specially designed to release only the purest aroma. Now, I wonder if that would sell for a ton. With this area inside the tree successfully checked out, Kushi successfully saved, and Susanu completely delusional about what's going on. Of course, it's our path, but it seems to be something that's leading him to think these things. Let's feed these little Bambies here. I bid you farewell for this episode, as we find out what's going on with Kakari next time. Join me then. Bye-bye.